Okay, in this video, we are going to build a Bluetooth remote controlled switch. Now I'm going to be using the HC05 Bluetooth modules with Arduino Nano. Now these Bluetooth modules can be configured as either master or slaves. I've configured this one as a master, that's my encoder. I've configured this one as a slave, that's my decoder. Also configured them to auto pair, so when they power up, they're going to look for each other and they're going to pair automatically. Then we're going to have a radio link between the master and the slave. Now we could send RS-232 ASCII code data over this radio link. Now I've made a video on how to configure HC05 Bluetooth modules as either master or slaves and how to configure them to auto pair. And I'll link that video in the description box below. Now when I press the button on my encoder, you can see the LED on the decoder come on. It's pretty responsive. So that could be a relay or anything that you want to control on the decoder end. Now when I press the button and I hold it in, I'm sending the ASCII string on and I'll turn on the LED. The decoder will decode that and turn it on. Now when I release the button, I send the ASCII string off and the decoder will decode that and turn the LED off. So you can use any string you want, I just use on and off. So when I press the button, I'm sending the on string and I release the button, I'm sending the off string. Okay, here's the code running on my Nano for my encoder. And my program is called Encode, you can see here. So if I type Encode at the keyboard, it will actually run this program. Now the program is pretty simple. First thing it does is init. That initializes pin 2 as an input with a pull-up. And that's where the push button switch is connected to. Then it goes into a begin, a gain loop. That's a continuous loop. Now inside this loop, it checks the status of pin 2. And if it's low, that means it's been pressed. It will send the on string. Now if the pin 2 is high, that means it's not being pressed, then it will send the off string. And it'll do this every 50 milliseconds in this continuous loop. Now on my string, I've added an asterisk at the beginning of the string and a pound sign at the end of the string. These are the delimiters. So the asterisk means start of string and pound means end of string. So in the decoder, it's going to look for, a, it's going to scan for a, for a asterisk. Then it's going to pull in all the characters until it sees the pound. And that means end of string and that means it's a valid string. So that's the program there, it's pretty simple. And we'll run this on the Arduino Nano and we'll check it out. Okay, I have TerraTerm up and running on my computer. It's a serial terminal program. And it's plugged into my encoder on the Arduino Nano. So if I type encode, it'll start my program. And you can see there the button is not being pressed, so it's sending the string off. So if I press the button, it sends the string on. So if I release, off, on, so it's pretty simple. It's sending that every 50 milliseconds. And if the decoder doesn't see a string every 50 milliseconds, it assumes it's lost communication. And it'll actually will turn off the LED or the relay for safety reasons. Okay, now you know how the encoder circuit works. It's pretty simple. We're just sending ASCII strings through our serial port from our Nano into the Bluetooth module to be transmitted. Now we're using the, a common push button switch as our input. But we could get more sophisticated because we do have a microcontroller here. We could actually use the I2C port, SPI port, and hook up some sensors and send some data to our decoder. For instance, we could actually hook up an RCWL0516 radar motion sensor up to the circuit. And I could detect, say, somebody at your front door, and I could actually send that to the decoder for alarm. So come up with your own ideas. Be creative where you could hook up to the encoder to send to the decoder. Okay, next we're going to look at the decode circuitry. Now when I was writing code for my decoder, I used a couple of apps on my smartphone to help me troubleshoot. So I paired my phone to the Bluetooth module and I ran this app here. It's called BT Simple Terminal. You can see we could enter ASCII code on the command line there and then hit the send button. But what, what I did, I mapped my two strings to the function buttons on the front. There's my on off string and I mapped them to the function buttons. So if we go back, Now if I hit the LED on, there's my first function button, LED off is my second function button. So if I put that over here so you can see it, hit the LED on, and it's sending that string, LED is on and off. So now I'm sending the two strings with my smartphone to test my code. So it came in very handy, this little app, BT Simple Terminal. Okay, here's another app that I've used for troubleshooting, it's called AMR Voice. So this is a voice to text converter. So I just have to say the string into, into this uh, app and it will actually send it to my board. 
So I'll try it here so you can see my LED on. LED comes on. Off. So that's just another app that I use for troubleshooting my decoding software. Okay, here's a code running on my Nano for my decoder. So the first thing we do, we enter our strings into flash memory. So there's our on string, and there's our off string. And really dot one will return the address where the on string resides, and really dot zero will return the address where the off, off string resides. Then we go to our main program, it's called main. So if we run that, that's our total program. Then the first thing it does, it initializes pin 13 as an output. Then it goes into a begin again loop, a constant loop. So the first thing it does in the loop, it gets the command. So that word will look for the asterisk. And if it sees an asterisk, it will pull in all the characters until it sees a pound. And then it will put that command into a buffer called pad. Now it's going to compare what's in pad to what's in memory location relay.1, which is our on string. And if there's a match, then pin 13 will go high, which will turn on our relay or our LED. Now if, if, the, if it's sending the off string, the relay 0 will get a match and it will turn off the LED or the relay. Then it's going to fill the pad with 64 blanks. So basically it empties the pad and it starts all over again, goes to the beginning to get the next command. So that does it over and over again. And that's our decode software for our Bluetooth remote switch. Okay, here's my schematic diagram of my Bluetooth remote switch encoder and decoder. Now they're both very similar, so I put them on one schematic. So the encoder has a push button switch and a decoder has an LED or it could be a relay. So the Nano, Arduino Nano, is powered by 5 volts and ground. And on the encoder, the push button switch is connected to pin 2. And there's an internal pull-up program to the Nano uh, for the switch. Now on the decoder, pin 13 is feeding the LED or the relay. And the Bluetooth module HC05 is connected up to the Nano's RS-232 port. So the TX output on the Nano goes through a, a voltage divider to cut it down to 3.3 volts to enter into the RX side of the HC05. And the output of the HC05, the TX, is connected to the RX on the Nano. And I have a little decoupling capacitor on the 5 volts on the HC05. So that's basically it. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple to set up. So there's your schematic for your Bluetooth remote switch. Okay, now you know how this circuit works and how to build your own remote control switch. Now you can modify this circuit to your liking. You could add on a relay on a decoder, like that one there. And on the encoder you could actually use a toggle switch instead of a push button switch. Or actually modify the software so the push button switch acts as a toggle function to the decoder. And you have a microcontroller on either end, so you could write code for multiple switches. So you could build up your own system. You can make it as complex as you want. So this is a very simple uh, system I have here that you could add on. So I just wanted to make a video to give you some idea how, how to build your own Bluetooth remote controlled switch.